In this gospel today, we have heard this story maybe many times, maybe others for the first time. We see a widow who puts a couple of small coins into the treasury, maybe in today's world, maybe like one penny, into the treasury. Others put a lot of money, a lot of coins into the treasury. In fact, during this time, the treasury might have been a a copper plate or a copper bowl. And so when you put a lot of coins into a copper bowl, it makes a lot of noise. Imagine if that's how we did collection here, we passed around a a copper bowl. If anyone here put $100 worth of coins in that bowl, it would create a lot of noise, a lot of attention. And so the widow only puts in a couple coins, kind of tink, tink. And yet she gives all that she has. And Jesus, because, well, he's God, and so he sees a great opportunity to teach and for a lesson here, he gathers his disciples, kind of like a football team gets in a huddle, and he says, huddle up, I'm going to teach you something. And he says to them that she has given all that she has. In other words, she has put in more than all the others, because to give to the Lord isn't just about money, but it is about giving up your whole self your whole personality, all of your strengths, all of your gifts, all of your being. And that's exactly what she has done. In fact, she has put such a mark on the history of the world that this gospel has been prayed on, talked about, preached about thousands of times over a a couple thousand years. And she did not know the impact that she would have on the world. This ends up in our Bible, B-I-B-L-E, basic instruction before leaving earth. And so what is the basic instruction that Jesus is trying to teach her? What did the widow represent? What did she witness to us? Generosity, sacrifice, and trust. We have all been generous in our lives. We do many things for other people. And when we do that, we build the kingdom of God. We have opened the doors for others to go into a store. We don't think much of it, but that is generosity. We have helped others by giving them a ride maybe to work or to school. We maybe have volunteered to coach a basketball team or a soccer team. We many times in our lives have given up ourselves for the good of each other. A mom or a dad who goes to work every day to support the family and to support their children is being generous. This gospel also shows us the ability and the need for sacrifice. Because in all those examples, we put others first and ourselves second. And by by doing that, we are showing the love of Christ. We are mentoring, we are witnessing the love of Christ. In fact, that's exactly what Jesus did for us. By dying on the cross, he redeemed the world. He sacrificed himself for our good. He sacrificed himself for our good. And we do that often in our lives. We don't always notice it or think about it, but we do. We do it in big ways. We do it in small ways. I remember years ago, I had a flat tire on the interstate I was probably in my 20s. I pulled over to the side. A man got out of a pickup truck. He said, do you need help? He changed my tire and like, he was like a NASCAR pit group man. It was in a matter of minutes. I have never forgot it and I wish I could meet that man today. He gave of himself to help me. I have some in-laws who periodically give us chickens and meat and vegetables and fruit. They live on a farm and a couple of bags of Doritos because they are generous. And living like that is walking with Christ. When you give of yourself and maybe take a back seat to give others, give something for others, you're being generous. You are sacrificing for the good of others. And this is all about trust. When the widow gives all of herself to the treasury, she is saying that I trust in God more than I trust in anything else. 
and we only trust in people that we have a close relationship. We can only trust in God if we have a close relationship with him. And in order to do that, we must, we must spend time with him. When we spend time with the Lord, it helps us. It helps others. It helps our relationship grow. The fact is that in our world today, it can be difficult sometimes to trust. We see corruption. We see lies. We see difficult times with our leaders. And maybe that has always been the case historically over many, many years. Unfortunately, we cannot always trust in men. But we can always trust in the Lord. Always. His message has always been consistent. It doesn't change with the times. Now today, you have made a choice, and your choice was to come to church to learn more about the Lord. Your choice was to come to be with the Lord, to learn more about trusting in the Lord. You have come from Ralston and Papillion and Millard and Omaha. There might be some people that have come from out of state or maybe some from out of the country. By coming here this morning, you have made the right choice. You have made the best choice. Because a life lived with the Lord is the best possible life we can live. In the Bible, Jesus is always teaching us lessons. And the lesson here is that looking towards him all of, the time in a, all of the times in our life is the best way to live. He sacrificed for us because he loves us so much. That's the Jesus that I know, and that's the Jesus that we know. He loved us so much he was willing to give up his life for us. We, in some ways, are like the poor widow. We humbly go around doing our work, living our life. You and I are just one of a billions and billions of people in the world. And yet we can make a difference. We collectively build the kingdom of God throughout generations. And so the challenge or maybe the homework assignment for you today, show others, tell others, about the Jesus that you know.